welcome back to my channel. My name is Sloane Marai, and if you're new here, welcome. I focus on mom, fashion, and lifestyle content, and today we're going on a trip. We're going to Mexico, and um, I, I don't know if you guys know this, but he is a manager for a tech company, but he is also a DJ, and we do travel quite a bit every year for different gigs that he has. So that's what we're doing today is we're going to a gig that he has. Um, it's a wedding in Mexico that he was hired for. And yeah, so I usually go on any um, out of the country trips. I don't go to any um, out of the city because it's, it's a lot of things to do at home. Um, but out of the country, I just feel like it's a good time for me to go and why not? Um, so yeah, so we've gone to where? We've gone to Jamaica, New York, Mississippi, Mexico, Mexico over and over. There's a lot of Mexico weddings and it's so fun. Yeah, Cabo, Cancun, Playa. Uh, Cabo, yeah. The most part. That was fun. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going today. Our flight doesn't leave until like 11, so um, we land about 2 p.m. And yeah, I'm excited for this place. We are not staying at a resort. This is a downtown hotel. It's like a, it's like kind of, well, I wonder if it's like um, a PV when we went and they had all these residences, residencies. Uh, is it resident? I said it so bad last time. I'm so embarrassed. But what is it called? Resi residences. Residences. This is the hotel. I don't know why I can't get it right. Uh, Marriott. That is the fives. It's part of the Marriott group. Okay. And so. Locations in the play. So I am going to bring you guys along with me for the fun. Um, you know, I don't really do much on his trips where he is working. I am just like an accessory on the side. If you need me, I'll be right here um, in my cute outfit. But yeah, it's really fun. And I get to meet like the brides and, and you know, all that good stuff. So it's exciting. Um, so I'll pick y'all back up when we get to the airport. So the flight situation was out of hand. Like we got on the plane, we would have been in Mexico two hours early had it not been for someone who is feeling sick. Like he apparently passed out and felt like he was having a heart attack. So it became an, a whole ordeal. Now I don't blame him for being ill or sick or not feeling well. Like I would want help if I was on a plane and not feeling my best, you know? The problem is we were there for two hours literally waiting on the plane, not going anywhere. We hadn't even taken off. There was no like, hey, you guys, thanks so much for your patience. Here's some water, something. We were there for two hours uh, and nothing. So they had, you know, they were calling for help. The flight attendants were asking if there was any doctors or nurses, any medical professionals on the plane that could help because someone felt like they were having a heart attack. He was completely sweating and Again, he had passed out and had to get like shaken up. Um, so yeah, not sure what happened to him. Hopefully, let's pray that he's doing well and fine. I mean, he walked off the plane two hours later um, with the 
uh, paramedics, with the help of the paramedics. But yeah, I mean, his wife got back on the plane <laughs> and left him <laughs> in Dallas. So I don't even, whatever. Um, we just got here very late. So at this point, it is 618 and we have just checked into the room. So yeah, we would have been here oh, way earlier, way earlier. We would have been here by 2 p.m. So it's been a very long day. I woke up at 5.30 to, you know, do my two mile walk. Um, you guys saw that already, but yeah, it's just like a very long day. And we had plans to go to a restaurant called Alouche. Um, that is how you say it. It looks like it's, it's, it's spelled A-L-U-X, like a Lux, but somebody helped me out here and they said it's called a louche. It is like a cenote under, you know, it's a cenote, but it's a restaurant in a cave. So yeah, it should be very fun and very cool. So I'll, I'll show you guys that, but <sighs> basically it's been a, it's going to be a very quick trip. Usually we like have things planned out and we want to do a bunch of things, but um, yeah, we don't have a lot of time. So time is not on our our side, right, Dante? Right. What do you have to contribute to this conversation? I'm ready to go eat some good food <laughs> in a cave and then turn up. Yeah, we need to go. We're going to go explore the rooftop and um, come back and change and go out for dinner. So. at the restaurant because they have too many reservations so we are sitting at the bar which is beautiful like look at that it's like it's so pretty and the restaurant is like all the way back there on the corner and this is just the deck so um to go and um, it should be fun so I'll show you guys 
azúcar de la esta, si gusta. Ok. En su caso tengo el otro regulador. Gracias. Thank you. ¿Van a ordenar ahora? Ah, uh, are you ready to order? Ok, sí. ¿Food allergies, intolerance? Nothing. Nada. Nada. Um, las los platos para empezar son grandes porque tienen pancakes. Sí, son tres piezas. Oh, okay. Piezas. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want French toast? You want pancakes? I was gonna do the brioche bread. Oh. Like an avocado cream cheese. Yo quiero el brioche bread. Brioche bread? Yes. El huevo así está bien recuerdo, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Cuál es el señor? Pancakes with bacon. Ajá. Uh -huh. And can I get scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs? Sí. Just one side, yeah? Or can I put yeah. something vegetable, some protein, some cheese? Uh, the, other, uh, the other side, we have the any side eggs. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need salad. You can put any vegetable, any protein, any cheese. It's now with a fried potato on the side. I like the fresh tomato salad. Fresh tomato salad? Uh huh. That's it. That's Instead it. of the scrambled eggs. Uh, oh, with the scrambled eggs too. One hmm. side the scrambled eggs. Yeah, one side the scrambled eggs. One side the scrambled eggs. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let me see your, um, your detox juice. Look at you. It tastes the ginger and hits. Oh, I can smell the ginger. I didn't really understand ginger until I started cooking with it. I'm like, what is this? morning wanted to go see the sunrise and we got there just in time and it was perfect it was so hot and steamy but not only that they have that red tide situation happening here and it people say like it smells like like boiled eggs like a like a, like a rotten egg it smells so bad so we cut that short. We were gonna walk like two miles up and down the beach, but then the beach side was very short. So we just ended up going back to the room um, and getting my sunglasses and came to a restaurant that I found on Open Table because it had like a really cute vibe and it's super cute. Like just the layout is very cute. That bird is very loud. Later on, I am going to have Dante go to do his sound check, and he's going to stay at the wedding. Um, but I'm going to go later because I'm tired. Um, like I said earlier, there was, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but maybe I did. Um, there was people that, like, it's, a, we're downtown. Like, I guess I didn't realize the reality of the word downtown. We were downtown. So like right underneath, right next door, there's just clubs. Like the entire street is filled with clubs and bars and people were up at all times. So um, our neighbor at our hotel, the room next door, uh, they got home at 4.45 and let the whole floor know and I didn't get back to sleep. So I just stayed up from 4.45 to now. So I will not be going um, to the, the wedding situation until much, much later. But the problem is like, I wanted to get capture like a photo or content of this dress. I've already worn it before, um, but the issue is I have lost some weight and I, everything I had ordered for today did not fit right. It was too big or too small or it was just in between. So I just said, whatever, I'll just wear this other dress that I have. And I wanted to capture content for it. But if my content taker, my photographer isn't here, 
then I have to figure out a different time to do it. So I will probably go back to the hotel, put the outfit on, take a picture, take the outfit off. He'll go to the wedding and I will stay back for a little bit to try to get ready, ready, if that makes sense. So that's what we're doing. lunch by the pool I had a drink by the pool and it was so delicious it was a passion fruit margarita but I felt oh, hold on one second hello hey can you make sure I let you avoid it all the again uh You left me 10, 20, 30, 40, 60. Okay, okay, good. Why? Oh, okay. The last thing that you guys saw was um, lunch by the pool. Everything was good. I was having a good time. I was drinking my drink. It was so good. And in and out of the pool, splashing around. Oh my God. When they say like drinking in, in a pool gets you wasted faster, it, I have never heard a truer statement. I was so done like my eyes were small like what is wrong with me i was like there's no way there's no way i've had one drink there's no way girl i had to take my little self a, a nap i took a shower i got comfortable i got in the bed under the covers i was like oh my god this has been a long stay the longest day i'm not gonna be able to make this um my husband's gig um, I'm not going to be able to make the wedding ceremony and reception and all that good stuff. So I'm going to just have to go for the party part. So he is going to let me know. Actually, I'm just going to head over there at like around 630 because I am, I, I need, I need the time because I also need to finish packing because we leave tomorrow morning and we leave so early in the morning that we have to pack tonight for it to make sense. So I am just decompressing. I've got my um, little eye masks on and I'm gonna watch some YouTube. And then I'm going to, uh oh. 
And then I'm going to put my makeup on and get ready. I did take some content um, before coming back upstairs and doing all that good stuff. But um, but yeah, I think I just, I, I need the time. I need the time. So I'm just gonna take my time and get ready and get myself cute and together. And then I will head over to the villa by a taxi, a solo. So I'm just trying to stay hydrated because mm -mm -mm. that little pool, pool day took me out. I wasn't ready. difference is like crazy. Hey, so I finished my makeup. I just wanted like a very cute, simple, fresh face. That's my goal. That was my goal. That's what I was going for. Um, and I just did a quick little beat and now I'm editing a video because I want to do like a vlog and a what I wore on vacation video. So I'm doing two at the same time. Um, and I should be getting to the villa like around 6 30. It takes about 30 minutes to get there. So let's just hope everything goes well. Um, and we don't run into like traffic or anything like that. Um, what else is happening? Oh, the clip I am wearing in my hair is so perfect for curly hair. If you have big hair, like big, thick hair, it's perfect for that. It will grab onto your hair and you can probably shake your head a thousand times and it's not going to go anywhere. So I'll, I'll show you guys what that looks like. It's from Ulta. Um, what else? I... I'm going to vlog um, from the wedding. I will probably be vlogging my husband um, because I don't feel like it's respectful to vlog somebody's wedding, um, and I don't want to. I don't want to be disrespectful at all. Like I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful, and I want to share that content with you guys. But I am just going to put the focus on my husband. I might like insert pictures here and there, um, but yeah. So, so that's what I'm doing. I will catch you guys on the way out um, so you can see my outfit and everything. All right, bye. All right, let me start over. Okay, we are headed out. I am all dressed and ready to go. I have on a Michael Costello gown um, and my little YSL bag. I never take her out, but she is, oh, she is so beautiful. Like just a stunning bag. So let's go get a cab. Let's go to this um, party, this wedding. <laughs> and yeah, oh, I just noticed how burned I am. That is insane. Okay, let's go.
we are back at the hotel. I'm exhausted. My feet can barely take it. Dante did a good job though. But we have to get up in five hours <laughs> to leave and go back home. So I'll see y'all in the morning. <laughs> 